your emotional strengths. It's time for you to unlock your key strengths, your emotion, the feeling. It's time to gain your self-confidence and self-belief to grow your impact and influence in your life, in your career, in your business and relationships. Yes, time to grow your emotional strength. It's about happiness, surprise, sadness, fright, disgust, contempt or anger. You need to ask some fundamental questions. Do you have a high level of control over your emotions? Are you able to show your emotions confidently? Do you feel you can't handle tough situations? Are you lacking in emotional strength? Enhancing your emotional strength, my dear friends, enables you to regulate your emotions and motivate yourself more effectively, allowing you to manage your own emotional turmoil effectively and demonstrate compassion and empathy for people around you. It's time to grow your emotional strength. See, there is this upward spiral. When you enjoy emotion, when you work with emotions like joy, passion, enthusiasm, belief, optimism, hopefulness, and contentment, you are actually becoming stronger and stronger. However, there are the downward spiral. There is boredom, there is pessimism, frustration, you are being overwhelmed in by the situation, disappointment, there is doubt, there is worry, there is blame, you are getting discouraged, there is anger, there is revenge, there is hatred, there is jealousy, there is insecurity, guilt and powerlessness. All of them are weakening your emotional strength. So the question is, what zone are you in? Are you in the blue zone? The green, the yellow or the red? The blue is being sick, being sad, being tired, being bored and moving very slowly. If you are in the yellow, you are frustrated, you are worried, you are silly, you are wiggly, you are excited and there is a loss of some control. And if you are in the red, you are mad, you are angry, you are mean, yelling, hitting, disgusted, out of control. When you gain your emotional strength, you will appear in the green zone most of the time. You are happy, you are calm, you are feeling okay, you are focused and you are ready to learn. As we go further, look at this. It's brilliant to understand that most people in this world suffer from emotional poverty and emotional illiteracy. It is time you turn it into emotional capital since behavior is caught and never taught. People are influenced by either your strong or weak emotional handling. So you notice there is a self and the social on top of the graph. Then you have the regulation and the recognition. You start with self-awareness, self-confidence, emotional self-awareness, accurate self-assessment. That leads you to two things. One is it gives you social awareness in terms of empathy, organizational awareness, service orientation. On the other hand, you look at the another arrow going towards self-management. If you gain self-control, there is trustworthiness, conscientiousness, adaptability, achievement, drive to succeed and the initiative. And both these again combine to form your relationship management. You become a better influencer. You are good in influencing, inspirational leadership, developing others, influencing, building bonds, teamwork and collaboration. So that's why it is important to grow your emotional strength to gain your confidence. Emotional strength helps you to deal with difficult situations. It can influence your behavior in many different ways. You can learn to build emotional strength and practice it in your everyday interactions. You will gain your self-confidence and your self-esteem for sure. See, let's look at your emotional strength. What is it? It is the capability to respond and not react in an open and a natural way in the face of intense emotional experience that you may be experiencing. 
the ability to feel one's way deeper into the emotions to drive action it helps manage situations with a hidden practical course of action four key points for your emotional strength your emotions are valid try and remember that the four key points are number 1 being open and natural number 2 being emotionally responsive number 3 being able to talk about yourself without any inhibitions and number 4 ability to continue to engage people through your actions yes let's look at practicing and gaining your emotional strength you all we want to gain trust in our lives happiness love euphoria joy hope for that the focus is to truly and deeply feel an emotional experience and allow yourself to be really really natural it helps you to open up your emotional responsiveness and change the way you understand your emotions in daily life accept pain and gain emotional strength is being able to accept pain and deal with it practically when you learn to accept pain you begin to gain your emotional strength by learning to feel the pain more deeply you are also able to feel other emotions much stronger such as happiness and pleasure it takes effort to practice and needs perseverance in other words not giving up attitude but if you can accept and feel the pain without fear you are gaining in your emotional strength day by day The second most important thing learn to be a solution finder and a problem solver. So life is about having to deal with hurdles and obstacles. The challenge is to uh, is about wrongly focusing on the problem rather than overcoming it. So don't focus on the problem. Learn and understand that problems come from all different directions and it is more important to find answers then stress about the problem itself this attitude helps you bounce back faster and bounce back stronger practice your emotional strength and try to focus on how to solve them by not getting burdened by the weight of the problem third most important point earn respect by improving your self respect It is natural to look for acceptance from people around us but emotional strength comes from being respected by developing self belief and self respect it is much better to feel respected by your people with self awareness of your personal strengths than it is to look for attention seeking actions gaining respect from others brings greater satisfaction to you the power of being respected and being looked up to is to strengthen your emotional strength and the fourth most important point live a life of giving and forgiving fantastic learn to forgive and let go of grudges at the same time learn to be a giver a contributor and a performer it does not mean you forget those who have done wrong but forgiving them and moving on takes much less energy in the long run it is less toxic and more fulfilling to let go of grudges than to hold on to them practice forgiveness and with time it will come and prove to be all the more strengthening practice the power of giving my dear friends giving contributing and performing so as to gain that supreme satisfaction and happiness in your life power of giving is stronger than being at the receiving end look at this trust in yourself makes you stronger and makes you comfortable see what is happening look at this wonderful graph on the top you have intensity and the bottom you have mild mildness of intensity on the left side you have unpleasant and the right side you have pleasant so when you are intense and unpleasant you are afraid you are alarmed you are angry you are tense you are annoyed you are frustrated you are distressed when you are unpleasant and it's mild you are miserable sad depressed gloomy bored and droopy right now but as you shift from mild you know from the unpleasant towards the pleasant from mild you know but still mild you are content satisfied at ease serene calm relaxed sleepy tired but 
the 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 topmost emotional strength comes from your intensity of purpose and taking everything in a pleasant way you're astonished you're excited you're amused you're happy you're delighted glad and pleased that's why when you learn to trust and believe in your own abilities you gain that comfort to deal with uncomfortable situations this is actually your emotional strength to practice self trust within you it is important not to justify or rationalize your setbacks and failures it is also important to ensure that you do not take negative criticism to your heart but act if you must with an open mind so your emotional strength and you look at that emotional strength gives you the ability to deal successfully with other people very important in life to manage yourself to motivate other people to understand your own and others feelings and appropriately respond to the everyday environment develop supreme confidence in yourself and your emotional strengths now help enter every task without thinking about failing the gift of psychology is help concentrate on your strengths instead of weaknesses on your powers instead of problems majority focus on weaknesses and problems instead of your strengths and powers you can be your best friend or you can be a worst enemy today the behavioral science of psychology has made rapid advances in enabling human understanding and appreciation of your true potential so it's time open your door to emotional strengths thereby the benefits of psychometric analysis helps you become aware and can make use of it so that you can optimize human capital by fully making use of strengths and powers to progress in life relationships your career or business psychometric simply shows if your emotional ways and potential suit the role and responsibility required in a given job situation subject of study relationship environment or business the key your self awareness is the foundation of self progress relationship management is always based on social awareness social awareness is based on self management and self management is based on self awareness so self awareness is the very foundation and of self progress your level of self awareness does not change and develop without you taking charge my dear friend charge of your learning and your implementation the right thing you need to do is number one strengthen your emotions is to assess and identify your hidden strengths number two learn how to leverage your emotional strengths to realize your vision and three how to deal with your weaknesses so that it does not become a threat there's a wonderful quote from mary and d which is charming um let us strive to improve ourselves for we cannot remain stationary one either progresses or retrogrades think about it and lastly you come to the most important aspect scientific analysis gives you a chance to learn and develop your mind score capability it's time dear friends to revise the past to revitalize the present and redirect your future so open your mind's door to work on your emotional strengths learn to appreciate and leverage the strengths of other people in your interactions overcome your weaknesses by collaborating with other people's strengths mold your inner mind with total focus on strengths stop finding faults with yourself or with others and start to appreciate appreciate and appreciate assess analyze and activate your emotional strength by knowing your inner drives and hidden talents please subscribe to our channel oscar murphy life strategies